Welcome to this brief tutorial on Task Pigeon. In this video, we're going to look at the various ways you can view tasks in Task Pigeon. Task Pigeon was designed with the idea that there is not a one size fits all approach to task management. As a result, we support our task tile view, which is what you currently see, as well as a list view and the ability to create and use Kanban boards. When you create a new category, it is automatically added as a new Kanban board and you can scroll across to see all of the categories that you've created. If you don't wish to have a category displayed on a Kanban board, you can simply hit the little trash can icon and remove that board from your view. It does not delete the category or tasks. It simply removes it from the Kanban board view in this instance. Kanban boards are great for being able to create custom categories so that you can move tasks between various stages. For example, you could have a category called to do, doing and done. That way you can easily see how a task moves through various stages of completion. Switching back to the list view, you'll notice that it gives a high level summary of the activity due date and allows you to mark complete direct from your dashboard. Like we've seen in other videos, Task Pigeon supports various filtering options. At the moment, we're looking at group tasks, which, you, which shows all of the tasks assigned to you and members of your team. You can filter this to a particular category. For example, if we go to the marketing category, we'll see all tasks in the marketing category, as well as the subcategories of Google AdWords, Facebook ads, and influencer marketing. You could drill down to one of these specifically as well. In addition to that, you can also go to My Tasks, which shows only the tasks that you are responsible for. I'll use this to switch back to the task tile view to give another example of this. Each of these views, the task tile view, the list view, and the Kanban board view can be used on each of the left-hand menu options that you have here. For example, completed tasks, switching back to the list view, and you get that view of your tasks in a list format. Thanks for watching this brief tutorial on Task Pigeon. I hope you have a better understanding of how we use and support task tiles, the list view, and the Kanban board option in Task Pigeon. If you would like more information, please visit our website at www.taskpigeon.co where you can follow the links to contact us. Thanks for watching.